that's it. That is interesting because, and I'm sure you are familiar. I'm sure you competed alongside him. Martin mm-hmm. Daniels was saying mm-hmm. some very similar things. Oh, really? Where, yeah, very similar <laughs> in regards to, with regards to that intensity, combining exercises. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that seems to be a different era or a different kind of approach that, that maybe a lot of the up and coming, uh, you know, bodybuilders from, you know, we're going to stick to natural bodybuilding, um, Mm -hmm. where they're, like you said, where they're kind of sticking to one exercise and waiting, you know, do three, four sets, move on to the next one. It takes long, it does take longer, but do you think, do you think that the the, the kind of how you're approaching it now, is that more just from a time-saving perspective, health perspective, or do you think it's also could be used for, you know, to optimize muscle growth, even from, from, for a young lifter, or do you think they have to kind of go through that, those steps that you were, you were talking about before, where you kind of finish an exercise or, or do you think there's multiple ways to approach this? There's multiple ways to approach it. Everybody has their own, like, for example, I was telling the client this morning, like, you know, five plus four is nine, you know, and six plus three is also nine. We're right at nine but we took different routes to get there. I said, whatever you feel works for you, then go ahead. And if you want to like, you know, adapt someone else's approach and you try it and it works, then go for it. So for me, the reason why I did that is because of, you know, time is number one. Number two is recovery because we know that as you get older, you know, your body takes longer to recover. And number three for me is like you just said, it's for me compacting those exercises really break my muscle down faster. So I have a longer time to recover. I have more time to recover. But if I'm spending two, three hours at the gym, it takes longer for you to recover. But when you compact the whole exercise in a short period, I'm breaking down more muscle in a short period of time instead of breaking down muscle in a long period of time. So it's probably going to take me a longer time to recover. So I wish I knew this when I was younger. I will adapt this style of bodybuilding training now today because I can see the effect. Even at almost 50, I feel like I'm still making gains, which is, you know, they always say the older you get. I, I don't believe in that. I think, you know, when you when you educate yourself and you keep learning, how how can I better myself? How can I change? What can I do to to make this workout more efficient and lower the risk of injury? And that's the key point for me It's lowering the key. Because I always feel like if you straining while you're working out, your joints are crying. That's just my mentality because I know what I used to do when I was weightlifting. There was a lot of strain. I, I mean, I, I, I went through a lot of injuries in weightlifting. I blow out my elbows twice, complete dislocation from 90 degrees there to 90 degrees that way. Dislocated my hip. I had a bunch of knee problems. So I know what it feels like to continually lift in heavy, you know, but people say, well, some of the magazines said none of you to build muscle, you have to lift heavy. I'm like, it's like he's saying, in order for you to be a chef, you just have to put water on the stove and boil water and you become a chef. No, there are some intricate things that you have to do. You know, what is your form, your tempo, your, the angle of your spine when you're doing a specific exercise? Are you really isolating that muscle? Are you just swinging your body all over the place? So there's a lot of other things you have to put into consideration. It's not just about lifting heavy. That's why when I'm working out in the gym, I see confused look in a lot of, especially the young ones. You know, I'm just curling 20-pound dumbbells and they're looking at my arms like, something is not right. Why is he curling only 20 pounds? And then there's a guy over there throwing 45 pounds around and he's not even close to what this guy looks like. You know what I'm saying? So I am a big proponent of time under tension. I love time because I've used time under tension for years. And I know that that for me, that's one of the things that still helped me up to today. Because if, you do, if you're doing time under tension, if the weight is too heavy, your muscle will let you know right away. You're going to have to drop that weight down. But if there's no tension within the rep, you're just using momentum, you won't even know the information. Is he going into the muscle right away or is he going to the swinging motion? You know, because at the end of the day, the training that we're doing is information to the muscle. Are, you, are your muscles get, getting the right information? So my motto is the slower you go when it comes to bodybuilding, the faster the information goes in. 
Some people have their own methods. They will disagree with me, and that's okay. You know, I'm just talking about what works for me, and I like to feel the muscle during the set. You see a lot of people get like fat, like out of shape. <laughs> like it looks like, do you even lift? Like that's the, almost the look. And, and right, and you're like, he's like, you know, for those listening to this, because the videos will come out, but he's laughing right now because it is true. And this seems to be a, a, a thing that a lot of the older guys who are saying this, who have